Heading to work each day, Kong Yujong always brings along at least some of the change she accumulated the previous day to buy her ticket. It's not exactly convenient, but it is a way to stop South Korea's low denomination coins piling up. In the end of the day, end of the travel, so you always have been a bunch of the coins in your carry bag, things like that, or in your house, in the car, in your pocket, in any kind of bag, there's the coins everywhere. That's why South Korea is now trialling a scheme at certain stores across the country that aims to phase out the use of coins. Instead of receiving small coins at the counter, the money is deposited on a prepaid card like this T-Money card widely used here in South Korea for paying for anything from a taxi to a subway train, even a carton of milk. Mobile phone bank accounts can also be used. Some store owners worry that scrapping coins may hurt the elderly, many of whom are still low-tech and coin-friendly. But overall, the trial seems well-received. The banks have been reducing staff, and anyway, they've got other jobs to do, not just changing coins. So when I go to the bank, I have to wait a long time, and that's why it's not easy to change the coins. Convenience is one factor, cost is another. Last year alone, the government reportedly spent the equivalent of 47 million US dollars minting coins. If you print a coin, it is more expensive than the face value of the coin. So, I mean, that if you, you know, print more coins, it's more expensive. And I think that more and more coins just disappear so it will become more and more, you know, costly to print those coins. The trial is being conducted by the Bank of Korea, which estimates only 20% of transactions here are being settled with cash. Officials at the bank say there is a good chance the trial to phase out coins could ultimately lead to the country becoming the world's first cashless society. Jack Barton, CGTN, Yongin, South Korea.